the players are managing to make do. So. Oh yes, and we're going to be going right into it. Peach versus Link. Let's see where we go. We got the players. We got Toad and Zamba. Two, uh, Toad being a super heavy hitter in the Chicago area. His Peach's neutral is unmatched, but we're going to have to see how it contests against Link here. I was about to say, I recognize that Peach color right away. Yes, Toad is one of the big heavy hitters. Possibly the best Peach that we have in the region right now. And as you said, yeah, his movement, his neutral, it is razor sharp. You really do have to watch how you box the Toad or else he will make you pay for any mistake that you throw on neutral. There's going to be a lot of item throwing in this match. You see, he's smacking him away. Link is having a hard time getting back on stage, even just landing on stage. He really needs to find that neutral ground right now. But Toad is just not letting him have it. Top platform. Oh, that was a mistake. Got to be careful right there. This is a tough situation. Toad is in complete control of the neutral. Zamba is a little scared to do pokes. He's just kind of throwing out bombs and hoping they hit. He just needs one single opening. And Toad's starting to fade away a little bit more. Wants to kind of stay in that airspace, watching for Zamba to throw out an option that he can with punish. But currently not obliging. That roll was close. Battlefield saving his life, though. Oh, oh we tech those. those. We tech those. 200% let's go. Zamba staying alive. Roll right into the grab forward throw. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> just barely. All right, well, Toad staying in the lead with his unwavering pressure here. You can see he stays right out of Zamba's range. He knows the exact range of uh, the Master Sword right there. So he can kind of space out and just make sure that ooh, you don't want to get too close. Something like that happens. Link has great out of shield options. Yeah, and not only that, his air control is also really great as well. Anytime that he gets a whip punisher in advantage above him, he's just placing turnips at the top platform. So that's taking a landing option away from Zamba. That was... You could see there was almost a link there, but I think he was a little too late on that down tilt to get a connection. Staying at a high percent. Zamba's kind of feeling himself right now. He's the one pressuring Toad, and Toad's got to be careful. He's going to get smacked away. Yeah, there's just so many things that you can do by the ledge, and it was just one of those situations where he was holding shield for way too long. He was risking a shield break, so he had to get up and get out of there, but good catch on Zamba. Throwing out that kill move and getting the stock now or even back and forth. You can see Toad is doing a really good job of controlling the middle of the stage, getting underneath that platform, having you know, Link having a hard time landing because of the three platforms on Battlefield. Going to something like PS2 or Small Battlefield, you can land in the middle more easily, but since you got that tap platform, you have to be careful. All right, now Zombo with the advantage. Oh, Gets another back there hit! There you go! Combos into the last hit of the slash, and now Zombo with a good stock lead. But here comes Toad with an answer back. Oh, nice tech! That was incredible! Beautiful recovery, but gets clipped with the up smash. And we are now even in game one. Zamba really picking up the pace, honestly. From the round start, you can really feel that he's gotten to understand the download on Toad. Nice conversion oh. there. Can't keep landing onto those up airs. That's a lot of damage to rack up with a short amount of time. 79%. Also having center stage now. Toad's got to find a way back in. See Zamba setting the pace, throwing out projectiles. He doesn't want to take anything risky, but getting poked out of the up special, out of shield. Toad's got to find a way, an option right now. Peach does have the option to rack up massive damage, but you have to commit to it. Oh, that could have been his opportunity right there. He had a massive punish off of that blocked up B. Ooh, smacking him away, catching up 71%. But Toad's not looking too good right here. Peach is a pretty lightweight, sitting at 100%. Not good at all. Throwing out all those projectiles. Oh, well, not all of them. I guess only one. Feeling himself. Oh, but up special is going to take it in game one. Yeah, tried to sneak his way back down onto center stage there, but Zamba with those good reactions was guessing that there was going to be some option to either go to one of the platforms or if Toad was really brave, try to throw out a move on the way down. So he was just ready with that up. B. As soon as he saw him, just drop got himself in position, and then just let it rip. Toad was shining right out of the gate. For that, you know, probably the entire half of that match, it was like, all right, Toad has the pedal to the metal. He's got the pressure. Then Zamba figured it out. He found yeah. the holes in it. But we're going to game two. I wonder what stage. We're running it back to Battlefield. Mm -hmm. All right. That's a that's a thing with Chicago players. We're very, very adamant about running it back. Very. A <laughs> lot, lot of sets around Ignition. If you tune into an Ignition stream on a given Wednesday night, it's a lot of run back. Run it back. Uh, something. 
Toad starting to pull out a little bit more of that float forward air. Something we didn't see a lot last match, but it is a very powerful tool to keep your opponent off the ground. Blinking back to the stage, Zamba just kind of figuring out his spacing. Throwing out Boomerang is a really nice way. Oh, the oh, stitch. He's got stitch. Oh, uh, but just barely sailed over Zamba's head. But yeah, that's the one thing now that Toad's starting to implement. Well, you it's got focusing, backing up, starting to slow down the pace of the game so that he can do more whiff punishes and get in this advantage state more often. That nice DI there, a back air is going to take it 100%. You can see Toad is playing a lot more defensively. You know, he's just not letting Zamba get back to the stage. He's hitting him up and then smack, smack, smack. And then once he commits to an option, you know, it's, that's your stock. Yeah, that's the name of the game. When the, your offense isn't working in game one, you basically go back to the board and start with your defense, work from there. And so far, the changes have been doing wonders. You can see, oh, Toad is acting like a fortress here, but that fortress is not impenetrable. Zama getting back into neutral, but Toad waiting it out, but taking oh, a bomb straight to the face. The oh. call out, the call out. I'm gonna chuck this, you're gonna eat it, and it's gonna explode <laughs> in your face. Oh, this could be, oh, lead some damage. Oh, he had that roll read on the back foot, but didn't really let the back air rip in time to hit it. Right now, I think Zamba's kind of struggling. He, he doesn't really know how to deal with Peach's, uh, like, floats and then fastballs. That's something that's been mixing him up a lot. But when Toad isn't using that, Zamba uses that opportunity to smack him away. Oh, not this time. Yeah. Fool me once, shame on. <laughs> shame on you, fool exactly. me twice, shame on me. That baited that out, very nice. Ooh, oh, and again, was... but just instead came down with the upper after the hitbox disappeared. I think that was a footstool. I heard the footstool noise about that. Oh, but an up smash is going to take it. The one, two, three. Oh, but sitting at 124% against Peach. One forward air from off stage is going to send you in a difficult disposition. Good turn it. No jump. He's got a bomb recovery, but doesn't pull it in time. It's now a one stock, even percentage game. Goes right off the angel platform with the boomerang. And here comes Toad now, crushing on the platform. Manages to make his way down. Zamba keeping ledge. Oh, boomerang is out. You have to be careful at landing a down air, getting back to stage, getting neutral, controlling that center stage, and not letting Toad get back. He's trying to sneak his way in. Manages to get back to center. Back air dash attack. All right. Got that up air sitting right on the top platform. This is a battle in the air right now. But now, oh, <laughs> sniping the bomb away. That was a really good ledge pressure. You could see that Toad was really avoiding that side of the stage. He just did not want to catch that bomb. It, it goes to show how great uh, option coverage Zamba's been having in this set. All he had was bomb there, just what the arrow. And that pretty much just put a red zone on that entire side of the stage. What? Oh, no. Oh no, it clipped him oh. at the very edge of the blast hitbox. And that is going to be game two to Zamba, a two to nothing game lead. This is now the mountain to climb. Oh my goodness. What? The, oh. Uh -oh. You know what? It's something funny. I, right before commentary, someone had their pro controller lying on the ground, and I saw those three little dots. I'm like, you. This uh. is why we need. Heat here. Right. Pack Diesel, if you're watching, hope you're doing well, brother. We love you. We love you. Everybody in Chicago loves to pack. Say it at the same time. Disconnect, Disconnect your, your pro controllers. controllers. All right, but we're getting right into a running it back Chicago classic. Let's see if Toad turns up the pace. It was playing really defensively last time. He was playing the punish game. But you could see Zamba saw right through that and just didn't decide to commit to anything that was punishable, which is pretty easy for Link because he can just throw out projectiles and those projectiles last. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing with Zamba is a realizing that Toad is looking for whiff punishes. So instead of just trying to do anything crazy, he's just opting to outplay him in neutral. Oh, and, you uh, ran right into it. He, he wanted that bomb drop, though. You saw that. It was yeah, and again, it's, it's one of those things where Toad is just trying to look for these openings that really don't exist. He's starting to get a little bit desperate. And now Zamba's picking up on that, throwing out those options when he's at his weakest. Now, I thought that boomerang was going to go back, but it went straight back to Link. But being right above him is a—it's a hard despot because that's where that's where Peach is 
really favorable. She can down air you in that float, but Link has such big range with up tilt and up smash, it's just hard to get into that area. Yeah, but Zamba has been doing a good job of shutting down the aerial control with uh, Toad. Before, earlier in the set, he's been doing a good job of covering the space, not only just in the air, but on the platform. But now he's smothering Toad. He's not giving him a chance to breathe. Ooh, that was a great recovery. Not killing just yet. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's flying everywhere with that. I, I, but I like that option. Going up really high, he was way far away from Toad. There was nothing that he could have really done to chase. Oh, landing right into the turn up and then the forward air. You know what, Toad still is in this. Yeah, some beautiful reactions there. Great setup. Again, if he manages to get Zamba into the air and starts controlling the airspace. That's the one thing that Zamba really can't contest against. So if he gets into that position, he can start clawing away at this lead. But aside from that, there's got to be something that he needs to do, and he needs to do it quick, because now he's down to his last stock. This is point. This is uh, this is uh, winner's stock, it, I believe. It is, it is top 32 winners. So if he loses this, he goes into the loser's bracket, and Zamba moves on. Yeah, I think he's, you can you can definitely see throughout this match, Toad has just gotten a lot more patient. He's he's taken off <laughs> he's taken off his foot from the pedal. He's he's getting on the brakes. He needs to figure out what he can do against this link, and he needs to figure it out really fast. Back out of shield. That's oh, a punish. That was a nice turnaround grab there. Throwing all the items out. This is oh really hard ledge pressure. The boomerang hitting back with a little chip damage. And again, that back air on shield, ready with the punish. Zamba has been extremely consistent with catching Toad in those situations. Oh, nice grab. Can he use the turn up against him? No, he just drops it right away. Kind of covers that option, so Toad couldn't run to the left. He can only run to the right without getting hit by that item. Throwing the bomb back and just throwing out aerials. He does not want Zamba anywhere near him right now. I like that. He starts trying to neutralize the bomb, just kind of take one less thing out of the equation. You can, you can take my items, I can take yours. Exactly. Ooh, oh, great right. chase for the up air. That's really all that he could have done. Oh, that was a stitch. stitch. Yeah, that, that could have killed if he landed on the top platform. Now he's going to have to try to edge guard him. He's got the bomb ready. Just leaves it by the ledge. No bomb. He's going to have to pull another one. Oh, yeah, oh and it was so it. smart. Did you see that? He, was just, he sniped that. He wanted the bomb recover, but that turnip placement was so great. He's been playing Pokemon Legends Arceus with that throw. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got that lock on. That sharpshooter aim. <laughs> And now the pace, it's, oh, but reached too soon. That's the up B, that's the stock, and that is a 3-0 by Zamba. Toad's going to have to try his luck and lose this bracket, and Zamba going to be moving on in winners. Oh, man. Great, great starting set to this block. That's, uh, that, honestly, that perfectly sets the tone for this top 48, because that is one of many high-octane sets that are, have a possibility of just being high-octane in this bracket today. Yeah, that was incredible. You could see how both players were adapting to each other over time. The bombs, the items, everything. They were always at each other's throats. That last stock, I could tell Zamba knew he was in the driver's seat. He went down, he was like, yep, yeah, all right. And then he just threw it out, won him the game. But mm -hmm. hey, these players are still in bracket. They're still, you know, Toad still has a chance. And Toad is a terror in loser's bracket. I've seen true. him do that is true. miracles in losers. It doesn't matter if it's Ignition or the DePaul events or wherever, I have seen Toad pull out some rabbits from the hat in terms of loser's runs. So I believe. I like stitches from a hat. Kind of? A dress? Huh? Huh? See what I did there? Does she? And this, this is just the, because I'm, I don't know a lot about Peach. Can she s still pull Bob bomb right? Yes. Or is that just the yes, delay? Yes, yes. Uh, okay. the, on uh, the only change is I think uh, Laser Sword is no longer a thing that she pulls. Right. Okay, she can do that melee with items off. 